In this video I'm going to very quickly demonstrate the function of this Minolta X7A 35mm SLR camera. As far as I know this camera is very similar if not exactly the same functionally as the Minolta X370 except the X7A was issued in black and I think it was a situation of it's called one thing in one country and one thing in another or something like that. But anyway, uh, this camera looks very much, if not exactly, like a black X370 to me. But uh, I thought what we'd do is uh, turn it on and step it down through the shutter speeds here. That's at 1 1,000th, 1 500th, 1 250th, 1 125th, 1 60th, 1 30th, 1 15th, 1 8th, 1 4th, 1 half, 1 full second, and the bulb setting. And we can see that the lens is stopping down properly. It stays stopped down and the shutter stays open as long as I hold the button down on this feature. And then uh, I let up and it uh, completes its cycle. It also has an automatic setting which then when with this camera it uh, used these special lenses that allow you to lock at the small aperture and then based on lighting conditions it picks a shutter speed and, uh, and uh, aperture for it. So um, well, one other thing we should test while we have it here is the self timer. So I pulled up on this little lever here, and then now we can see the light is blinking while you're running to get in the picture yourself. It will warn you a little bit uh, with faster blinking, and then it does the cycle. So that's working properly. Um, if we look around the back here, we can set the uh, ISO or ASA number, push this little button and turn this dial. So that's working nicely. It's got a good rewind crank. If we pull up on the rewind crank, we can open up the back and we can look at the curtain here. It's advancing properly. The film transport is working properly. And as I move along here to the back, these door edges feel very clean. They, they don't feel any uh, light seal residue on them, so that's very good. This foam even looks really nice here. So I would say it does not need light seals. And the back closes properly. And a good crank. And that uh, stows properly. The bottom looks good. Still has this protective plastic. Some people took these off, but a lot of people left them on. Keeps the bottom from getting all scuffed up. Um, if we were to then take the lens off, we can look here. Everything in the mirror box looks nice and clean. We'll set it on the bulb setting. You can see straight through to the pressure plate. And uh, everything looks clean and nice. Let's look at the lens itself. This one, as I noted, it has the locking aperture at the smallest aperture. But if we take that off, then we can rotate this all the way up to F2. And you can see the aperture blades working. And uh, we can see that they are very quick as we work the lever. And the focus is very nice and smooth, very typical of the nice Minolta lenses. I don't have a front lens cap for it, but I have this 49mm Hoya filter. It's a little dirty and, and uh, would need some cleaning up if you wanted to use it as a filter. I'm just going to call it a, a screw-in lens cap and include it. Lens mounts properly. It has the uh, Minolta branded strap, a, a little place to keep an extra set of batteries. There are no batteries in it, but you can keep an extra set in there. 
and then it has this little shutter blind which is nice for when you're taking pictures with the camera on a tripod and you don't want to have stray light entering the back of the camera here and uh, interfering with the metering. So you just slide this little blind on there after you've composed your picture and then you take the picture and you're sure that uh, your exposure is going to be correct for the metering. Um, the X7A, like the X370, like the X570, is a nice camera to use in manual mode because you can actually see what the shutter speed is on the display. You do not see the aperture reading in the uh, inside the viewfinder on this model. This camera comes with the X7A manual and there's a little bit of extra paperwork here including this uh, card right here that includes the serial number 9384245 which is the same serial number that's on the body right here in the flash shoe so we know that this has all been together So all in all, a nice example of a Minolta film SLR camera.